Sagittarius, it's me, Stormy, and here is your horoscope for January 2018. So, Sag, this month you are actually in a really nice position when it comes to finances. You've got some beautiful endings regarding finances or joint resources, as well as some really beautiful beginnings. And we've also got Mars moving into your sign, so we know you've got the action to get these things done. So we'll talk about that in just a second. But first of all, as we're going through 2018, I hope that you will join me for my new feature, $3 Thursdays. It's the third Thursday of every month. I will be teaching an astrological concept, and I will also be doing a question and answer session. This is nice because it's a lot more intimate. It's smaller than the live sessions, so you can get in, bring your own chart, and we can answer questions about the chart that you bring. So a lot more personalized. I really am looking forward to doing this in January, which is happening on the 18th. We're going to be talking about business timing in astrology. So I'll be teaching you about different aspects to spot, using the transits, when those will be the most positive if you want to start a business, end a business, or D, any of the above. So Sag, you've got some money making moves to be making. This might be your $3 Thursday to be a part of. Get one session, get five sessions, buy the whole year. Either way you want to do it, it's in the description box down below or come visit me at stormygrace.com. All right, Sag. So this month, we're kicking it off. It is, first of all, a month of moons. We've got three moons this month. So we know that we're shifting. We're making a shift where our emotions are resetting. Our course has been reset. We're starting off this month with a full moon in Cancer. For you, this is in the eighth house. Now, the full moon says something has to be ended, acknowledged, or adjusted. And one of the things I'm thinking here as we're at the end of the year, maybe it's time to get tax stuff going. But for some of you as well, this could be that maybe you've gotten out of debt or you're finishing off a debt. Um... Maybe you're finishing some kind of loan or you're getting a loan or something like that. Something could be ending around this shared resource. Another thing I'm thinking too, for some people, truly, you know, maybe you've been paying um, child support and those children are older now or alimony or something like that. It's any place where there's been a shared resource. Maybe you're moving out of a joint situation that you were in, something like that. Now, the other thing I think this is beautiful for is the eighth house I teach is all about intimacy, right? If you've had things going on in the most intimate core of who you are, this could be time to share those. Usually the most intimate thing we have that we're afraid to share is what we're actually built to do, what we're actually good at, because it's like people say, oh, I'm afraid I'm going to fail. I don't believe that. I believe half the time people are so afraid that they're going to actually succeed because then what? Then they have to take the limitations off and you may be confronting this especially having the option to create new sources of income for yourself this month and things like that so this is definitely a sort of energy we're in this eighth house all eighth house issues sex um, joint resources, metaphysical things, psychology, the hidden, um, all of these things come out to the surface for an opportunity for transformation and the moon certainly helps move this right along. Now on the second, we're going to see Uranus, who's been in retrograde for about five months, come direct in the sign of Aries, which is very much so a self sign. So I think this is again, while Uranus was retrograde, things from the past, psychological health issues rose to the surface, doubt crept to the surface. And now that Uranus is forward, it shows you where you have to break down these walls, right? He's coming, he's tearing them down. He's like, that belief doesn't work, get rid of it. Let's go this way and let's do this. Let's make some money. Let's have some new ideas. Let's put ourselves out there. All of these things, Uranus starts put you, putting you in position. You just got done with Saturn doing a really good rotation on you. So we know that you're more mature, more spiritually prepared to go out there and to make some moves. So I love that energy for you. Now on the 12th, we're gonna be welcoming in Mercury to an already packed second house. This means you have got a lot of planetary power happening in this second house, which is the house of income, but also the house of value. You've had Saturn working on you. It spent two years. You know your value differently. I hope you know your value differently so that you can take that out into the world and create a space to make income or to bring the value you want to have into your life. Now, in this second house, we've got Pluto who's transforming, Saturn who's just not playing around, getting you to create structure and understand really how how much you're bringing to the table. Venus bringing harmony, bringing some magnetism to this house, attracting that money in as well. The sun who's bringing life, vitality, and essence, and then we welcome in Mercury. So now you've got conversations going, decision-making happening about this 
second house about what do you want to do you want to go out there you want to create your own project you want to create your own product do you want to create new services do you want to ask for that raise do you want to change things around in your life so that you have the quality of life and the quality of richness that you deem to be valuable and successful these are all available to you. Then right here on the 16th, we've got the new moon happening in Capricorn. So this is, again, starting a new beginning here in your second house. Now, what I can tell you, Sagittarius, is pay attention to what you're going to do. If you're going to join some kind of group that does something, sells something to make money, don't go for any of these overnight 2 a.m. I'm going to get rich quick schemes because this is not your year. And that is exactly what Saturn is trying to tell you. It is the slow and steady that is going to get you there. But you could, between the eighth house and the second house, you could really be making some financial moves for yourself this year. That's really very, very exciting. Now, to help with that, on the 18th, we've got Venus coming into Aquarius. On the 21st, we've got the Sun coming into Aquarius. Now, these two, Sun, Venus together, they're wonderful. They're magnetic. There's essence. Um, there's movement. There's life. There's magnetism and harmony here. And this is in your third house. So creating conversation, emails. We need to market. We need to get some things out there. We need to network with people. Maybe we need to go ahead and write that book or write that product service or write whatever it is that needs to be written at this time so that we can share it out. Maybe this is a conversation with siblings. Are you doing something with a sibling and creating something? Are you writing a story? Are you teaching something? Are you studying? Anything that falls into this realm of the mental and the communication, really you get a lot of blessing and harmony here, which good for you. How can you make money if people don't know what you have to offer? So this is a wonderfully useful energy for you. On the 27th, Mars moves into Sagittarius. You've got action. You've got movement. You've got... Now remember, while action and energy are what Mars definitely bring to the table, movement, some good stuff, you getting you out there, you regarding you very well, Mars also brings conflict. So please do your best. Fight for what you want. Fight for your truth. Fight for what's right. But fight for the right reasons, Sag, this month, okay? Now, on the 31st, as we end this month, with a lunar eclipse happening in Leo, lighting up your ninth house. This is the house of broadcasting. This is the house of faith. This is the house of getting you out there. Look at this. This is the setup, Sag, for you to start getting out there or making your plan to get out there. Now, in the ninth house, publishing, broadcasting, um, faith. This is the house of faith before anything else. You know more about this ninth house than anybody. This is a house where you don't know if it's going to work out, but you are willing to trust the magic and see if it does. This is also a really delicious house for international business, international things. Now, this being a lunar eclipse, first of all, it's the full moon. So it says something has to end, acknowledge, adjust, right? But it is also a total lunar eclipse, so it's a blotting out. So we blot out that energy, we blot out that light, right? So what that does for us is it creates an emotional reset. Reset here, refocus, reground. If it's licensing, certification, education, um, publishing, whatever it is in this ninth house, if it's anything foreign, get yourself in position to move these things out here because you really have got some good wind in your sails, okay? It's going to be a beautiful month, Sagittarius. I look forward to seeing how this pans out for you. Leave me some comments down there below so I know how you're doing. And I look forward to seeing you in $3 Thursdays and everything else we've got going on in 2018. Like this video, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys in February. Bye!